Hello everybody. Well, so today we are very, very happy because we are at home taking care of our uh, health. And uh, well, so we're going to uh, remember the stative verbs, remember stative and dynamic and showing approval and disapproval. This is the new topic that we are going to learn. So we are going to review page number 37 in the reference guide, then a practice book, page number 54 and students book, page 65. This is important because we are going to go very quickly. Review stative and dynamic verbs. Stative verbs describe a state or passive condition. Es decir, ¿ya de acuerdo que les decía? Un state es lo que eres, pero no puedes cambiarlo. For example, a flower. The flower smells beautiful. La flor huele bonito. But the flower cannot decide. Ay, sí, yo voy a oler bonito. I want to smell, I want to smell. No, it's a state. Huele y san se acabó, okay? Or a passive condition. What is a passive condition? A passive condition is when, for example, um, pues no es a propósito lo que está sucediendo. Ay, por ejemplo, me veo bien. I look beautiful, por supuesto. <laughs> sí, es una passive condition. Um, the states can be mental, ok, es lo que veíamos aquí. Think, believe, por ejemplo, I believe in, um, I believe in God, yes, for example. Emotional, like I like you, I love you, I hate this, ok. Our physical, for example, hear, or no, no es lo mismo que listen, ok? Porque cuando you listen something, estás poniendo atención, you are putting attention. For example, I listen to the music. Entonces, le estás poniendo atención, pero hear es, por ejemplo, cuando ahorita que estoy grabando y de repente pasa el tren, o de repente alguien está hablando allá afuera en la calle, o el perro ladra, no les estoy poniendo atención, los escucho. No es a propósito, ¿ok? And sí, no es lo mismo que look. For example, in the classes, les digo, look at me. What it means when I said look at me is, for example, eh, lo estás haciendo on purpose. That it is on purpose. So, eh, look at me, eh, pero no es lo mismo que decir sí. Ok, for example, si yo les digo en este momento... Si están utilizando su lab o están utilizando su celular, yo les digo solamente, vean el celular. In this moment, see the cellular phone. Sin embargo, fíjense bien y alcanzan a ver cosas que están alrededor de ustedes. Puede ser un escritorio, su cama, su... Pues dependiendo de dónde estén, su cocina o a lo mejor su mamá pasó por ahí caminando. Y eso es verlo. Pero aunque no estés viéndolo a propósito, lo tienes que ver. Quiero que pongan sus manos, pero viendo su celular con una sola mano, o que lo tengan recargado, o que estén viendo directamente a su computadora, y que ahora muevan sus, sus manos, pero a un lado, así como a la altura casi de las orejas, no exactamente, pero un poquito la distancia, y quiero que las muevan así como quieran, pero estén viendo el... Este, el su eh, compu o your <coughs> cell phone. Las alcanzan a ver de todas maneras, ¿no? Ok, that is what is not on purpose. Por eso les digo que una característica de los static verbs is not on purpose. Ok, dynamic. Puede ser event, verb describes an action that we can do. Y además es on purpose. Eso es algo, o sea, es a propósito, yes. Drink, run, paint, talk. Si yo no quiero, agarro, cierro la boca y no hablo. Y no platico contigo. ¿Ya? Yes? Pero sin embargo, este, bueno, si no puedes decir, pero ve, puedes cerrar los ojos. Bueno, pero si los abres y estás viendo, están, se acabó. Y no importa, las otras cosas que no te intereses, las alcanzas a ver como tus manos. Muy bien. Look, stated verbs are not usually used in continuous form. O sea, normalmente no los utilizamos en la forma de ing. Con am, is, or are. For example, eh, si yo les digo, the flower is smelling, no, the flower is smelling está mal. Pero sí puedo decir, por eso o, frecuentemente, I am smelling the flower, porque yo estoy oliendo la flor. Ahora sí lo estoy haciendo on purpose. ¿Sí vieron la diferencia? The flower smells, it's not on purpose, 
está trabajando como static, pero I, is, I am smelling the flower, yo estoy oliendo la flor, lo estoy haciendo on purpose. And this is it. Well, now we are going to continue. Uh, static verbs. I love my sister, Monica doesn't want coffee. Do you believe in ghost? Observe is everything is present simple. Now, the dynamic verbs. He is drinking a Coke. They don't read comics. Are you talking on the phone? It can be in simple form or in continuous form. Pero esto no. Solo in simple forms. Continuous forms. You see? He is drinking a Coke. Excellent. Now, we are going directly to the uh, practice book, page number 54. Great. Now, complete the conversation. This is the moment when you stop the video and you try to do it by yourself. Okay? ¿Qué será? ¿Será un static verb? ¿Será un dynamic verb? ¿Lo podré poner with continuous form o será in present simple form? Entonces, traten de ver cuáles son. ¿Ok? Fíjense, at the moment, action of the moment. Si son actions of the moment, será present simple o present continuous. Lo hemos practicado muchas veces. I hope that you do it. Ok, well, you're supposed to finish already to write it down. Now, I'm going to uh, answer this. What are you doing later? Ay, fíjense, tenemos el verbo no, saber. Si estudiaste para el examen, sabes. Pero si no estudiaste, ¿vas a saber? No. ¿Será un state? Pues sí. O sabes, o no sabes. So, ¿puedo utilizar continuous form? No, teacher, no, I can't. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to write, I don't know. And we got it. What do you want to do? Well, at the moment, fíjense, watch TV. Será on purpose o it could be a state. Son purpose porque le estás viendo, observando. So, y además nos dice action of the moment. Y el present continuous es S for actions of the moment, temporary situations and future arrangements. Ok, so, I am watching, ok, TV. And this is it. Now we are going to continue. I video games. Ahora play. Será state or on purpose? On purpose, ok. Ok, ¿qué estás, qué estás haciendo tú? Por eso nos decía, de momento yo estoy viendo la tele. ¿Y qué de ti? ¿Qué haces ahorita? Es lo que nos quiere decir. Entonces, aparte de que es un eh, dynamic verb, que lo puedo poner también en... En continuous, muy bien. Por lo tanto, the correct answer is I am que playing ing. Video games. Ah, tenemos want. Yo quiero. Ah, no. Yo quiero una hamburguesa. No, que quieres tacos. Que no, que quiero una hamburguesa. Que quieres tacos. Que no, que sí, que no, que sí. Pues want is a state. Ok. O quieres o no quieres. No lo puedes cambiar. So, se podría en continuous. No, porque the static verbs are always, always, always in simple forms. So, it is a question. What are my auxiliars for the present simple? Do and those. And you, what are you going to use? Do, excellent. Do you want to come over? ¿Te gustaría venir? Sure, but, but I, okay, this is... Yo tengo que terminar mi tarea. Ok. So, this is an obligation, pero I have to, ¿verdad? I have to, I have to finish my homework. Ok, see you later. Very good. And no problems. Now, this says here, reference guide, page number 37. 
that is one that you see. Write the verbs in three in the table. ¿Cuál de los verbos que teníamos acá arriba fueron stative and which were dynamic? I'm going to put it smaller so you can read at the same time. I think you can do it bigger. Maybe over here. Let me check. No. Oh my goodness. Let me, let me. Yes, that's correct. Okay, the verb no. What do you think about the verb no? Where you are going to write it down? Stop the video and try to do it by yourselves, please. Stop. Excellent. Now, we are going to put all the static verbs this time with color red. No is a static. Porque sabes o no sabes. Okay. Then, ¿qué será? Um, watch. No, no es static. Play. No. Want. Yes, static verb. Have, yes, it's an static verb, okay? And then we are going to put in color blue. So watch, dynamic verb. Then we have there play, static verb. And of course, the example that we had already here, that is do. Bravissimo! If you have like this, Mark, pónganse sus palomitas with color blue or crosses, pero cuando se corrijan, you write the answers with color red. Okay? Don't forget that that step is very important to do. Excellent. Continue with the next part. Write approval or disapproval. Mm, ¿Por qué se refiere a, a esto? For that, we are going to go directly to the student's book, to the page number Ándale, Fati, obedece. Well, now that you already answered this, it says here showing approval and disapproval. Vamos a ver cuál de las que ustedes pusieron was correct. Sorry, me distraje aquí un poquito con mi hija que está también en clase. Ok, now, approval. Eh, the approval one sería, for example... Cool, yes. Another, wow, this is another approval. Then, with another approval is, that's great, my friend, that's great. And then, sweet. Then we have awesome, like the book. This is awesome. Brrr. Then we are going to put with color green, which are disapproval. So disapproval, that's crazy. And all the rest, believe it or not, but it is true, are both. Pueden utilizarse dependiendo de la entonación. For example, get out. Yes, or get out. Uh, what? What? Oh, what? What's that? Really? Oh, really? Is that right? Is that right? Okay, so we have the answers of these activities. Tomorrow we are going to remember this on the page number uh, 54 of the practice book. One more time. Have a great day.